This is Bashiok from Blizzard Entertainment. You're watching Nukem Dukem. Let's play. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Nukem Dukem here, and welcome to StarCraft II: Heart of Swarm. I love StarCraft. You have no idea. Um, it was one of the first game I played, and I played for hours as I was childhood. When StarCraft II: Wings of Liberty came out, I got the developer sign. I had like a 60 signatures on my collector's edition and I followed it so closely I watched it competitively GSL uh, NASL all of it MLG and then I used to play hardcore I was one ver versus one uh, used to be masters until I um, started doing YouTube and I no longer followed it since I have to play so many other games so I no longer played it competitively but uh, yeah, you can see uh, uh, <laughs> I used to be a, a elitist back then, but uh, not extreme like Grandmasters. But I love this game. I would play it on Brutal, but I have so many games coming out, so that's why I'm just going to play it on regular so I can just speed through it and I can show you the content as soon as possible. I'm doing this recording before the game comes out so I can just stick it in there so, uh, so um, you can get the content as fast as possible. And uh, if I'm free, feel free to join my chat group. It's just Nukem Dukem. And then the, here's the info. And uh, feel free to join me. So let's go ahead and get started. I am so excited. All right, let's go. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. I just got the game. All right, let's go campaign, Heart of Swarm. And we'll play on hard since I'm a Masters player. And subtitles are on for your enjoyment. Enjoy introduction. That was such an epic trailer. I am so excited to do this first mission. Alright, let's get rolling.
The test protocol will begin in two minutes. Make the most of this test. It's your last one. Now give us a minute. Very well. We're getting out of here tonight, darling. Good. Then we can go after Minsk. Forget Minsk. Forget all of it. This is about you and me. Until Minsk is dead, there can't be a you and me. I moved heaven and earth to bring you back, Sarah. I can't watch you throw that away just for revenge. Initiating test phase two. I never gave up on you, Sarah. Don't you give up on us. Test phase two, commencing. What are you hoping to get out of these tests, Valerian? I told you, I don't remember anything about being the Queen of Blades. We have to find out how much of the Zerg mutagen is left in your system. I appreciate your cooperation, Kerrigan. Do you usually keep cooperative people in a containment cell? When we know it's safe, I'll unlock your door myself. Now, can you reach out with your mind? Do you sense it? A drone? Are you really asking me to take control of a Zerg mind? Do you know what could happen? All the test subjects are in a secure environment. Okay, so this is a drone. Uh, they're probably going to give you a base tutorial how to play StarCraft okay, and what things are. Step. See if you can order the drone to mutate into a hatchery. All right, let's build this hatchery. A hatchery is the central structure of a Zerg base. It spreads creep so that other structures can be built. The hatchery also produces lava, which you use to morph into more drones or other Zerg creatures. When you use lava, the hatchery will replenish them over time. Okay, I'm just gonna give a quick rundown what StarCraft okay, is Kerrigan. when they stop talking. More drones into the test chamber. See if you can order them to gather those resources. All right, we'll go ahead and have these drones gather these minerals. So these are workers where they gather minerals and they bring it back to your base, which is our hive. And the Zerg is one of three races. There's Protoss, Terran. So what? So this is more like the aliens one. And um, so these drones, they gather minerals. And also Vespian gas, which is a different type of mineral to build uh, structured units. You're doing well, Kerrigan. Can you morph more drones? All right, cool. I need an overlord to morph anything else. Do it then. One overlord shouldn't hurt. Okay, so top right is our supply. The Zerg use overlords to generate more supply. Your current supply maximum is displayed in the upper right corner of the screen, along with how much supply you are currently using. If you do not have enough available supply, you will not be able to morph a unit. <laughs> Why am I even teaching you how to play this game? <laughs> so anyway, so uh, we build a, a Overlord, which you can see top right. It gives us more supply to build more units. And the max is 200 in StarCraft. And right you can see um, our minerals. minerals. So right here we're just gathering stuff and it's basic training. Excellent. I plan to stop here, but let's take this a little further. Try mutating a drone into a spawning pool. Okay, so a spawning pool is the first structure of a uh, Zerg, and uh, it basically lets you build units and branch off your uh, build tree. So let's go ahead and build a spawning pool now that, uh, wait, hang on, we need 200. Alright, so uh, you can build Zerglings, which is the basic Zerg unit. They are very good, uh, very cheap and weak, and but they're great for scouting. The spawning pool allows the hatchery to turn lava into Zerglings. <laughs> basically... You know info. this is going to end badly, right? We have a controlled environment. <laughs> Alright. 
The spawning pool is finished. You should go down to the test chamber and inspect it. I can see just fine from up here, thanks. I think that's all we need today, Kerrigan. Great work. If you think that was great work, wait till you see this. I'll make some Zerglings. <laughs> oh, okay, so we're gonna make the Zerglings, which is a basic attacking unit and... Kerrigan? Uh-oh. What are you doing? Putting your controlled environment to the test. <laughs> looks like we're gonna cause some chaos. Alright, let's get more Zerglings out. So Heart of Swarm is the second expansion of the original uh, StarCraft campaign. Uh, this focus on the Zergs, which is who we're playing now. The first one was the Marines or humans. The last one is going to be uh, Legacy of the Void, which is the Protoss. You haven't seen it yet, I'll show them when they come out. So this is a... Uh, was it a strategic? A strategic game where it requires a lot of multitasking or and you kind of need high APM, which is action per minute, which means um, you have to do multitasking and like do a lot of things all at once and control. Stop! It. I didn't ask you to create Zerglings. Funny thing about Zerg Valerian, they never do what you expect. Shut down the experiment. Get sentry bots in there to sanitize those holding cells. Lock down on the sublevel and power up the Eradicator. Nothing gets out. Maybe if I destroy your pretty Eradicator, you'll learn you can't control the Zerg. Oh, it looks like we're gonna <laughs> butt heads with Valerian. So these are new units I haven't seen yet. It's probably just camp. It's campaign specific only. Looks like it. I will right, we'll go ahead and destroy this. Uh, if all the Zerglings die, we'll just morph some more. I sense more Zerglings in holding pens. Valerian, you were very careless. Perhaps I'll free them too. Alright, <laughs> let's go destroy the base a little bit. Evacuate the scientists. Get all personnel out of there. Uh oh, looks like we're just gonna cause chaos. Alright. So uh while we're building more Zerglings, you can see that we're attacking. So this is what I mean by action permit. You're still building a base, constantly building and attacking. And there's a lot of micro involved where you uh, reposition your units, uh, where your your units with low health, you switch them back and forth so they don't take damage and uh, focus fire. Oh wow, everything's more blowing up right now. Good, I can use them. <laughs> things are getting a little bit crazy right now. So here we're gonna just build some more uh, Zerg Not units, and uh, what you can do is set rally points for workers for Zerg. Kerrigan, this is not a game. Well, that's your fault. It never is with the Zerg. So what I did with my hatchery is I set a rally point for workers, so I can build workers and then attacking units uh, to a different area. So that's a special thing for Zerg. So right here we're just showing a factory and it has a reactor to it. Uh, this factory can produce mechanical units like a Thor, a uh, Help, a Hellion, a t siege tank, and a reactor lets you double that just for Hellions though. And, uh, and Battle Hellions, which is a new mode in Heart of Swarm. Zerg, run! <laughs> get all personnel off that level. Sorry, guys. I wish we could do speed boost in the spawning pool. You can do a... It's all out of control. Yes, it is. Uh-oh. Automated gas defense activated. That containment door won't open until I destroy those turrets. All right, turrets down. Now we can go in. Oh, we got that to go fast. Hurting my Zerglings. So what I did was build more Zerg units and then we're just going to go ahead and bum rush with all this gas. Uh, this thing will uh, slowly do a dot on us, which is damage over time to our Zerglings, so we want to take it out as fast as possible. Uh, right now, I'm not doing a good splitting. I'm having them all attack where I should actually split it up right now, but I'm just showing you this is what a lower level player does. Is like They send all the units to attack one structure when you can actually spread it out. And so you can attack multiple targets at once. So this is an example of a open. new person. Now to destroy the Eradicator. All right, let's go ahead and destroy uh, this next part. Bottom left is our mini map. You always want to keep an eye what's going on. So you know if you get attacked, or in, you can also click on the mini map to transport you different location on that map specific. All right, let's go ahead and uh, destroy. This other generator here, while wow, we take out this turret. 
And there's some top left. Uh, we'll take them out after we get these guys and free these other Zerglings. So I wish uh, in the spawning pool we could actually uh, build a speed boost for Zergs, which makes them actually run a lot faster. I think it's called a metabolic boost. Hopefully I'm saying that right. <laughs> Hope, uh, if you're a big StarCraft fan, I'm sorry. It's been a while I've played. But uh, this is a more uh, more info than I usually give in most of my walkthrough commentaries. Alright, once we destroy this, this should be good. Alright, let's free these guys. You have more Zerglings here. Well, they're mine now. Okay, you can see our minimap is pinging where we should go. Eradicator activated. Now, oh gosh, that's a big machine. Alright, we're gonna focus on this. And then, uh. And then see right here, uh, you can see me splitting up the attack where I'm attacking multiple units at once. Like, uh, branching them off. And you can just do a, uh, if you use a keyboard, quick attack move. Eradicator destroyed. Situation critical. The Zerg have overrun the sublevel. You're lucky no one was killed, Kerrigan. Luck had nothing to do with it. And maybe now? You understand how dangerous the Zerg are. I'll send them back to their pens. I appreciate that. I'm opening your cell right now, if you'd like to join me. And perhaps next time you can make your point without destroying half the facility. Alright ladies and gentlemen, that's the mission. I hope you enjoyed. I'm including some uh, other videos of uh, launch events, but stay tuned for the end for uh, the next part. All right, see you guys Can next you say Battle Cruiser operational for me? Battle Cruiser operational. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, happy birthday in Thrall's voice. Do what? Ha uh, any uh, voice you can do it as like a happy birthday. Some <laughs> happy birthday from StarCraft 2 Marine. <laughs> I love it. Are you gonna stay behind? Hey Matt, say something ridiculous. What's that? Say something crazy. Uh, I want to put my fingers up and stab you with it. Uh, okay. not really. How about a birthday wish? Uh, birthday wish, I hope you get as much present as your belly can hold. <laughs> my belly can hold, I love it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So are you guys... Your a, birthday? It is my birthday. How old are you? 22. Oh, look at that. Yes. One of our uh, artists down there at birthday. I actually today. met it. Uh, yeah. yeah, we had a great time celebrating it together. Did you, did you get anything? Did he give me anything? All I got was a signature from him. I told him That's my life story. Beast. A dollar or two. Okay. But in years from now, it'll be about 20. Mm. Treasure it. So, after the, after the last expansion, am I going to expect StarCraft 3? Oh, we're probably working on that right now. Oh. You know, we got to make sure well, we get on, a jump on that so we're okay. not uh, doing this forever. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, guys. All right, happy birthday, man. Have fun. Not That's a bad fun. way to celebrate your birthday. Of course. Thank you. Got it? Yeah. Hey, Jay, do you have anything to say for your D3 community? Um, have fun stomping beans. <laughs> Thank you. A real life monk. This is Bash Yak from Blizzard Entertainment. You're watching Nukem Dukem's X Play. Let's Play? Yeah, let's play. <laughs> Walk through. Walk I said X Play. play. <laughs> Alright. Any right. shout out to your fans on forums? <laughs> Don't delete my thread. <laughs> This is Bastiok from Blizzard Entertainment. You're watching Nukem Dukem. Let's play.